As far as uh, the, the developers are concerned, we report our numbers every quarter. We report our asset quality numbers every quarter. It's important for you to know that right from the time we started business in 1977 till today, our total loan losses have been only eight basis points. Mm -hmm. What we've written off has been only eight basis points of what we have dispersed cumulatively in a period of 40 plus years. So we lend money to top quality developers. We don't lend money to a developer to fund his balance sheet. We lend money for a project. And when we do a project funding, we do 100%. The 100% of the project is mortgage to HDFC. We do not do consortium lending. Uh, theoretically, if, if a loan, if, if a developer runs into financial difficulty because the sales slow down, then it might result in a delay in making payment, in which case the loan gets classified as a non-performing loan. But the likelihood of any loan uh, creating a loss in future, just the chances are extremely, extremely low because of the high amount of security we take. We also do huge amount of provisioning. We have provided much more than what is strictly required by regulation. If we go by a provisioning, a total provisioning that we do is the total provisioning cover we carry today is 5,880 crores. And if you look at the, simply look at the regulatory environment and what we are required to provide strictly as per law, it is about 3,220 crores. So we've been very, very conservative, in fact, extremely conservative in our provisioning over the years. Okay. Now, having said that, the real estate sector has got some stress because of two reasons. Mm. One is because of unsold inventory, because you see talk people talk of so much of unsold inventory in the market. And the second stress is because of stuck projects. Mm -hmm. And I think I can suggest a few, rem few things that could be done to alleviate both these situations if you want.